Hey, I'm Bryson and for back from another Maple Story video. In this episode, I'm going to be covering something that it's I'm not going to be able to cover it fully, mainly because it's going to take me a long time to be able to get everything ready. But I can cover it where I can right now. What I'm going to be covering is the hyper skills. Not only am I going to be explaining what the basics of the hyper skills, but I'll also be explaining the Dark Knight's hyper skills. So this is kind of a two-in-one video. Now, real quick, hyper skills are pretty much something, as you can see, I'm level 140. As soon as you turn level 140, you are, your hyper skills are available. Uh, every character gets about three regular hyper skills. One does damage, one, and then one is specific to, like, explorers, resistance, sickness, stuff like that. And then the third is specific to your class alone, like Dark Knight, uh, Hero, Paladin, stuff like that. These are your active skills. Then you got passive skills, some that increase strength, uh, critical rate, uh, accuracy, health, mana. Uh, Fury, this is only for uh, Demon, uh, not Demon Avenger, Demon Slayer. So don't bother getting this. Uh, defense, magic defense, speed, and jump. Now you might notice something, they each have a required level. This is why I can't do a full, like, oh hey, this is what these do. Because all of them, like, right now, this one is the highest level one, and it requires me to be level 200 before I can get it. Now, if I'm, now pretty much every 10 levels, I think, is when you get uh, skill points for these. And I'm not sure what the rate is, but I do think you, I do believe you can't get all of them. I think at some point you'll just run out of skill points. Although I didn't. They did, you probably get be, be getting more skill points over the since you got they increased the level limit. But anyway, after the passive skills, there's the advanced skills. These skills buff your these are passive skills that buff your previously learned skills. Like for a Dark Knight, we have hyper body uh, hyper body skills, berserk skills, and then dark impale skills. Uh, and. And that's pretty much the basics of the hyper skills. Now let's get on to what the Dark Knight hyper skills are. So first, as an as an adventurer, I get the skill called Epic Adventure. Uh, you call upon the bravery deep in, within to increase damage output and max damage. It costs 100 MP. Uh, at it lasts 60 seconds. Damage is plus 10 percent, and max damage goes up by 500 thousand percent. Not 500,000 percent, just 500,000. And it's a 120 skill, it has a cooldown of 120 seconds, and it can work on other people, but it only works on other explorers in the party. Uh, and then some Dark Knight uh, only skills. This is Nightshade Explosion. It's its own, it's the only Dark Knight uh, uh, attack skill. It costs 200 MP, does 300% damage, but it hits 10 times on 8 enemies and has a cooldown of 8 seconds. And then this is the uh, buff skill that uh, Dark Knights have called Dark Thirst. Gives you plus 60 weapon attack and you, all your, your, every bit of your damage goes to your HP. You drain 100% of your damage. Uh, but it is capped at your, uh, your max HP. Last 30 seconds and has a cooldown of 90 seconds. This kind of makes me believe that I'm correct when I say that Dark Knights are close to being vampires. Because it says challenge your inner vampire to increase weapon attack and sap the life from enemies for a short time. Uh, these everybody has. I, I And I already explained these, kind of. They pretty much do what I what they are saying they do, like magic defense increases magic defense by a bunch. Or strength increases increases strength by a bunch. Dex, intelligence, luck. Anyway. Okay, so for the advanced skills for Dark Knight, first we have Hyperbody Persist. You get level 183, uh, it and it pretty much increases Hyperbody's duration by 20 seconds. Then you got Hyperbody Spirit, which increases uh, bonus max it gives you plus 20% to your max HP when using Hyperbody. Get it at level 162. Uh, vitality at level 143, you, you uh, it increases the max HP given by 20%. And then you have Berserk. It, at level 168, Reinforce will give you a bonus 20% damage. 
uh, then at 189, you can get 20% minimal critical damage bonus to, uh, when Berserk is activated. And critical chance increases your critical chance by 20% at level 149. Then you got Dark Impale. This is, this is this skill. Uh, at level 195, you can get 20% damage. Uh, then you can get Guard Break at level 177, which gives you a bonus 20% to monster de defense ignored. And then Extra Strike gives you the number of attacks plus 1. Uh, real quick, I should have uh, gone over this. Uh, Dark Thirst you get at level 150, and Nightshade Explosion you get at 170. Every class I think is like this. You get your, like, uh, like you, you get your Explorer, Sickness Knight, or Resistance, or whatever, uh, class you are. Uh, this is your, it, you always get it at level 200, you always get your attack skill at level 170, and you always get your class specific skill at 150. So that's been an overview of the hyper skills, and also the Dark Knight hyper skills. Now, I'm probably going to do a bit more research into this, so I, so I know what I'm going to be getting. So obviously, like, because I, again, I don't think you'll be getting every skill by the time you're at level 250. You might. Uh, I haven't done the math for uh, to account for the new max level. But don't go and say, oh hey, I just got this skill. Like, if this skill is now available, I should get it right away. Because you, whatever well, it's not the skill you want, and you end up not being able to get the skill you want. Anyway. I've been Legend 3454, and I'll see you guys later. So I actually just looked it up, and according to the internet, you are, uh, you can get, uh, when you get to level 200, you'll have about three of these skills, you have about six of these, and five of these, but, in, but that doesn't include the new, uh, what's it called? The new t level cap. So I'm not sure what the math for that is, but just know that up to you can get at least six of these, at least as far as I know. I mean, at least five of these, at least six of these, and you can get all of these. So as of right now, that's probably what I'm going to plan for, and I'll just do whatever I can at, at my next uh, job event. At my not next job event, when I get to level 200, which will be years from now. Not very good at leveling. I use Evo Lab. Anyway, see you guys next time.